Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and first of all I want to apologize for the quality of my voice. I've been very sick the past week and I'm finally getting over it and finally have the urge to just scrap again. So I'm here with a single pager 6x12 pocket page layout to kind of keep things simple as I ease my way back into it. And these are all photos from the Cathedral of St. Michael and St. Gudula in Brussels. And as you can see, I've got a very red and gold theme happening here. And I know that I have some specialty paper that has gold foiling. And I think I have some transparencies that have gold foiling, foiling as well. I just don't remember exactly like what the patterns are. So I'm going to pull those out to see if I can use them maybe like as a background for this. Also gray is an option because it's a neutral and I've got that happening in the stone here. So I have lots of options. I'm just not exactly sure what I want to do with this and what it's going to look like. So I have pulled out three different items that all have gold foiling. I have this bit of transparency that has stars on it. And actually, you know, it's almost more like a copper sort of. I guess you, it could pass for either, but I think it would work, you know, with the color scheme here without a problem. I'm just concerned that the pattern is too busy because there's a lot happening here. This stuff is very ornate. And really that's the same problem with all of these because I have this one as well. Now this one actually says sand and it is a little bit more coppery, I guess. But the dots, I feel like too much, probably distracting. And then I have this one, which I love. I love this and I think this one actually works the best of all of these. So if I were to use one it might be this one but I would definitely like have to mat this photo on something. I wouldn't want to just go hey I'm gonna use it like that. That's that's way too much. But knowing that those might be a problem I did also grab out two pieces of vellum that I have and they're the same pattern it's just one is in white one is in black or charcoal gray. This one is very hard to see, but there is wording. It's a script there. And I've used these on other layouts. I think I just, was it this one or this one? I used on a recent one. And so I have these pieces left and I'm not opposed to using them again because it gives a nice subtle pattern. And with this one, I'd probably have to find a gray cardstock to put behind it or even maybe a tan, a very light tan, because there is some brown, brown tones anyway happening. So I have options, but I think it'll be one of these three. I think these are just too, too loud to use. So one of these three. So I think I'm going to try to use this paper because I just love it so much. I love the idea of making it work. Hopefully I'll pull something together. But I do just want to give a little plug for these papers. They're from Pretty Little Studio and they do a lot of their papers in 8x8, which is kind of an uncommon size. If you're questioning it, think about it this way, especially if you're a pocket scrapper. I love it because I just cut it at 4 inches. So I cut it in half to get my 4x6. So I still have this whole piece here, but then I also have this, which I'm going to cut in half, and then I get 2x2 two two squares out of it. And I do use some page protectors that have two by two squares. So none of this will go to waste. So I do appreciate that about that size. I think I've decided I'm going to mat on gray and I pulled out my bag of gray scraps here. And I originally thought maybe this color would work, but it's a little, it's a little too dark. I think it's not quite what I wanted. And then I remembered that I bought a whole pack of this a while ago from close to my heart. The color is called Pebble. It's a much lighter gray. Look at the difference. It's almost like maybe a stone color, I guess. But I like that better, at least. It lightens it up a little bit, whereas this, I think, weighs it down when I've already got some heavy color in there. So I'm going to go with this color instead. So I tried the lighter gray that I thought I wanted. It looks fine right here, but look what happens when you put it against this. It just blends right in. That's not enough of a color difference. I think I'm going to have to go with this darker one after all, just to have it show up more. And I'm not even sure that's enough. This is lighter, but I'm wondering if 
I use a piece of this and like tear the edges and then put this over if it gives more of a visual contrast because this is so muted now in the back. So I think I'm actually going to cut a piece of this and try it both ways and see what I like. I do have more of this and if I don't end up using it for this particular card that I'm building, I'm not going to be upset about it because I can save it and certainly use it for something else. All right, I think I've gone a different way here. I ended up not liking either of the grays behind this. So I did end up just ripping some vellum like I said I would and I think I'm just going to do it like that flush to the left side the photo will be on it and you'll see this so this is really the only part that sticks out totally as clearly gold foil now I had this chunk left that I said I could make two by twos out of that which I could but I think I might actually use it to build a card for down here so that it matches and I've moved some photos around to make this work a little bit better. So I think this is the configuration that I want. And then I may trim this down a little bit just so this isn't quite so wide. But I do want to use it and then I still have this piece as well. I may layer it. Cut off some, layer it so you see the little wave there at the bottom to mimic what's up top. And then all I would really have to do is maybe find a red embellishment or a phrase of some kind on red and use that to build the rest of the card and then I could do the same up here actually so I think I think I have a plan all right now to pick out my red stuff I've gathered a few things I have picked out my general bag of travel embellishments that are pink and red so I have those I have my red phrases and then I also grabbed out my museum slash historical phrases because there might be something in there I can use. I know there's stuff in red. I can see it. I just don't remember what all they say. I also have a history one and I thought I had it with my museum stuff, but it's not there. If I don't like anything here, I'll find those because I know there are phrases in there that talk about historical type things. And this is a very old church, so I think that would fit. I have found one thing I want to use. I didn't adhere this yet because since it's vellum, I have to be careful. I want to hide the adhesive in there. So I need something maybe that would overlap here so that you won't see it being glued down. And I think I have found it. I think I'm going to do that one that just says this is a must visit. And if I really wanted to, I could also put like a staple down here and one at the top. It would not only serve to hold everything in place, but it also just be something for aesthetics but I do like that little pop of red and I probably wouldn't do anything else there because this is so bold already all right here's this one all complete I'm not going to do anything else with that but for the top I have found a phrase I want to use and it just says breathtaking and I think I'm going to do it right hmm, probably like that and then in my museum stuff I found this one and I'm sure this is meant more of like a history museum or something but I think what I want to do is actually cut off the part that says treasures and then I'll just save this I could use that for an actual museum page I think it would be fitting but I really like how these would look together because of that red and brown and there's a little Kind of gold tone in there too. I think it would look really nice. Here is the finished card with both of those phrases on there which I really like the way that looks and this adds a very nice barrier and tones down a little bit of the background so super happy with how that all came together and I'm just gonna put it in the pocket and make sure I still love it and then figure out do I need anything else. So there we go. You know, I think because these are so bold with the pattern and that bright gold, I don't think I want to add anything to these. I just want to leave them alone. They're beautiful as is. So here's another one finished for Belgium. Thanks for watching.